In the heart of New Hamburg, New York, stands a house shrouded in mystery and steeped in history, the John Lawson House. This architectural marvel, built in the year 1845, is a testament to the legacy of its founder, John Lawson. A descendant of one of the region's first white colonist families, Lawson left an indelible mark on the community that transcends time. The house itself is a beacon of the past, its unique design distinguishing it from its surroundings. With its sturdy structure and timeless aesthetic, it stands as a testament to the architectural prowess of the mid-19th century. The John Lawson House is a piece of history, a physical embodiment of New Hamburg's rich lineage. But as time would tell, this house, this architectural marvel, this beacon of history, would become known for something far more eerie. The John Lawson House, however, would soon become known for more than just its architecture and lineage. The 1870s were a time of catastrophe for the Lawson House and the surrounding area. The decade was painted with two distressing events that would forever scar the landscape and people's memories alike. The first disaster took place in 1871. A freight train heavy with oil lost its way and derailed, causing an explosion of such magnitude that it sent shockwaves through the otherwise peaceful town of New Hamburg. The flame-fed inferno devoured everything in its path, leaving a trail of destruction and despair. This horrific accident claimed the lives of 22 innocent souls, their hopes and dreams buried under the smoldering ruins. As the town began to recover from this tragedy, another disaster was looming on the horizon. In the winter of 1877, six years after the train derailment, a fire sparked to life. The flames danced with fury, consuming seven buildings surrounding the Lawson House. The inferno raged, reducing structures to ashes and leaving the community in a state of shock and loss yet again. These two catastrophic events shook the town to its core, casting a dark shadow over the Lawson House. Yet, remarkably, the house itself remained unscathed. It stood there, a silent sentinel amidst the chaos and destruction, its sturdy walls bearing the weight of the sorrow and pain carried by the wind. Could the house feel the anguish of the town? Could it hear the cries of despair, the prayers for lost loved ones? Or was it just a building, indifferent to the human suffering around it? We may never know, but one thing is certain. The house has seen more than its fair share of tragedy. The Lawson house, somehow unscathed, stood silent witness to these disasters its walls echoing with the screams of a town in mourning. These calamities of fire and fury left an indelible mark on the house and the town, a mark that would come to shape the eerie mysteries that would unfold in the years to follow. In the wake of the tragedies, an eerie spectacle began to unfold on the porch of the Lawson house. A chilling tableau began to take form as life-sized mannequins, garbed in vintage-style clothing, started to appear on the house's front porch. Their presence was as uncanny as it was inexplicable. They stood there day in, day out, their blank faces staring out into the quiet street, their stiff bodies mimicking the posture of living beings. These were not your ordinary stool mannequins. Each one seemed to tell a story, a narrative woven into the fabric of their vintage attire, etched into the contours of their lifeless faces. Some were seated, others stood, while yet others seemed to be caught in a moment of action, frozen in time. And then, the most unnerving part, their positions changed. Not daily, not in any predictable pattern, but change they did, adding an extra layer of mystery to their silent existence. Whispers began to circulate among the residents of New Hamburg, spinning tales of ghostly possession. The tragic events of the freight train derailment and the devastating fire were fresh in the collective memory of the town. It didn't take long for conjecture to take root. Could these mannequins be haunted by the spirits of those who perished in those calamities? Was this porch their ethereal stage, where they reenacted their untold stories? Rumors swirled, theories abounded, yet no one could say for sure. The mannequins kept their secrets well, their silent forms offering no answers to the questions that haunted the townsfolk's minds. All that was certain was their enigmatic presence, a constant reminder of the tragedies that had befallen the town not so long ago. The mannequins, forever silent, held the town in a grip of fear and fascination, 
their purpose as unknown as their creator. In 2016, as mysteriously as they appeared, the mannequins vanished from the porch of the Lawson house. Their sudden absence left an eerie silence, a void that was once filled with their haunting presence. Theories swirled around their disappearance. Some whispered of ghostly intervention, while others suggested a calculated move by an unknown party. The town was left in a state of bewilderment, their iconic specters gone without a trace. The house, now stripped of its peculiar guardians, seemed to lose a part of its enigma. The absence of the mannequins added a new layer to the mystery of the Lawson house. Their disappearance provoked a flood of questions. Where did they go? Who moved them? And perhaps the most chilling question, will they ever return? The porch now stands empty, the echoes of the past fading away, leaving behind a mystery that continues to baffle and fascinate. The John Lawson house, its tragedies and its mannequins continue to intrigue the world. Let's take a step back and recount this eerie tale. It all began in 1845 with the construction of the house by John Lawson a descendant of one of the region's earliest colonist families. The peaceful beginnings were shattered by the catastrophic events of the 1870s. First, the fiery explosion caused by a derailed freight train in 1871, claiming 22 innocent lives. Then, a devastating fire six years later, wiping out seven surrounding structures. But the real chill set in with the uncanny appearance of the mannequins, their vintage garb, and their unsettling habit of changing positions. Were they ghostly guardians or morbid memorabilia? The plot thickened with their enigmatic disappearance in 2016. The Lawson House stands as a testament to a past steeped in tragedy and a mystery that continues to captivate. For now, the secret of the mannequins remains locked within its walls, waiting to be revealed.